Look, I'm not going to hear polemize with, uh, with HRVP. I have to admit that, that that was followed more by my colleagues, but I think that what's very clear is what we've already explained to you last week in terms of how Pegase is working and what Pegase fund and doesn't fund. And as we've already explained to you, um, the Pegase has three components. It has a component of um, supporting salaries and, uh, salaries and uh, pensions. Um, this component, as you know very well, is only uh, being paid for eligible uh, people in the West Bank. In Gaza, what we do have is another part of the component of Pegasa that is contributing also to social allowances for poor families. This is the component that continues in Gaza. And then the third part of the component of this is uh, support for payment of invoices uh, for specialized medical uh, treatments um, in six hospitals in East Jerusalem. So I think that, uh, I think that, uh, that uh, this is very clear. And I think that the rest of the debates are basically linked to the day after, the day after this operation is over, and how can we make sure that the Palestinian Authority uh, is in control of the two uh, territories? Because as you know very well, the EU also has a policy of known contact, obviously, with Hamas uh, since the takeover. So I will leave it at that, unless uh, Peter or Nabila have anything else to say.